All right, so this video, we're going to look at solving a equation with square root in it. Uh, these are the four examples I'm working. Each example is going to have its own video. Uh, this is the fourth example. Uh, this problem, this is the problem I worked in example one. This is the problem in example two. And this is the problem I worked in example three. And this is the problem we'll work right now in example four. So check out all the videos. So let's go ahead and get started on example four. All right, so to, uh, to solve an equation with the square root, we need to isolate the square root. Well, if you notice in this problem, we have two square roots in here. So we need to isolate one of them. So what I want to do is let's just go ahead and isolate this one. Okay. All right, so I'm going to subtract square root of 3x plus 7 to both sides. And if you wanted to, you could subtract this one to both sides. It doesn't matter. So that's going to leave me with square root x plus 2 equals 1 minus square root 3x plus 7. All right, now to get rid of the square root, well, we're going to need to square both sides. So let's come over here and square both sides. So remember when you square a square root, you get what's underneath the square root. So this is going to leave us with x plus 2 on the left hand side. And that equals, now the right hand side, let's go ahead and write this out. That's 1 minus square root 3x plus 7 times 1 minus square root 3x plus 7. All right, so the right hand side, we need to fold that out. So I've got x plus 2 equals, now let's fold this, so first, so that's 1 times 1 is 1, and then the outside, 1 times negative square root of 3x plus 7 is negative square root of 3x plus 7, and then the inside, that's going to give us negative square root 3x plus 7. And then the outside. So a negative times a negative is a positive. And we're multiplying the square roots together. But notice it's the same thing under both square roots. So that just gets rid of the square roots. So we're left with just 3x plus 7. So now let's combine like terms on the right hand side. So that's x plus 2 equals so we've got 3x minus, and then we've got a negative square root of 3x plus 7 minus square root of 3x plus 7 is minus 2 square root of 3x plus 7. And then 1 plus 7 is 8. All right, so now we need to get rid of the 8 from the right-hand side and the 3x from the right-hand side. Because, see, we got rid of one of the radicals. Well, now we've got to get rid of this radical. So we need to isolate it. So I'm going to subtract 3x to both sides. I'm going to subtract 8 to both sides. And that's going to leave me with negative 2x minus 6 equals negative 2 square root 3x plus 7. And then... I'm going to divide everything by negative 2. And so that's going to leave me with x plus 3 equals square root 3x plus 7. Now, example 3, you might want to watch that video because this number here, when you divide it both sides, it doesn't divide into both of these numbers evenly. And you might want to watch that to see what to do with it when you get when you come across that. All right, so I've isolated this radical here. Okay, so now we need to square both sides again. So if I square both sides, all right. Well, remember this. This is just x plus 3 times x plus 3. And so I'll fold that out. So that's x squared plus 6x plus 9 
equals, and then when you square the square root, we're just left with 3x plus 7. So you can see now I just have a quadratic equation to solve. So let's get everything to one side, set it equal to 0. So I'm going to subtract 3x and I'm going to subtract 7 to both sides. And so that leaves me with x squared plus 3x plus 2 equals 0. And then to solve this, I'm going to factor it. So let's factor. Let's see what we get. That's going to be x plus 2, x plus 1. So x plus 2 equals 0, or x plus 1 equals 0. So I get x equal negative 2, or x equal negative 1. All right, so remember, whenever you square both sides or you, or, or you raise both sides to an even number, you have to check your solution. You have to take these two solutions here and plug them back into the original. Okay, so let's check. So let's check the negative 2. So I'm going to plug the negative 2 in for x. So that's square root negative 2 plus 2 plus square root of 3 times negative 2 plus 7. And we need to notice that equal 1. Well, negative 2 plus 2 is 0. Square root of 0 is 0. 3 times negative 2 is negative 6. Negative 6 plus 7 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. And so I get 1 equals 1. And so that one checks. So x equal negative 2 is a solution. All right, now let's check the negative 1. So that's going to be square root negative 1 plus 2 plus square root 3 times negative 1 plus 7. And I need to note, does that equal 1? Well, negative 1 plus 2 is 1. Square root of 1 is 1. 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 plus 7 is 4. Square root of 4 is 2. And so I get 3 does not equal 1. So x equal negative 1 is not a solution. The x equal negative 2 is my only solution. So I hope the video helped. Check out my other videos. Uh, check out my channel. Give me a like, share, and subscribe. And thanks for watching.